Smothers Park is a park on the riverfront of Owensboro, Kentucky. The ideas and planning for Smothers Park started back in 2001. After a lot of work and nearly $68 million, Smothers Grand Opening was August 23, 2012. Since the addition of Smothers, people have been drawn in and the surrounding business has skyrocketed. And with the new convention center and Hampton Inn Hotel, that doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon. The 1.4 mile stretch of Smothers includes a walking area with swings on the side, multiple fountains with over 100 jets, and about 20,700 square feet of artificial play turf for kids to play on, a concession stand that brings in almost $50,000 a year, a stage wing for events and concerts, and also a veterans memorial. With the building of Smothers, Owensboro gained a venue for many events like the Barbecue Festival, Friday After Five, and according to Tim Ross, Owensboro's events director, Smothers was booked for 66 large events, 32 downtown date nights, 20 weddings, 18 Live on the Banks concerts, and 14 balloon twisters, and 7 farmers markets. This does not even include church events, fireworks, and birthday parties, which are a huge hit. My interview took place on April 4th with Jennifer Hodges, the Assistant Recreational Facilities Manager over Smothers Park. Her office is at the intersection of Veterans and Davis Street at the front of Smothers Park. She had nothing but great things to say about the park and I can tell she loves what she does. Has it lived up to what it was supposed to be whenever it opened? I think it definitely has. Actually, I think it's lived up to more than what everyone had mm -hmm. expected it to be. Be. Um, we get so many compliments. I mean, and of course, the weather is warm. I mean, this, this is the, the spot to be. It's yeah. the <laughs> destination now spot of, of Owensboro yeah. for families and, and friends to come and hang out and enjoy the outdoors. So. What has Owensboro gained with the addition of Smothers? I just. I, I think um, they've gained a place to, to go and come to and, and, and just to enjoy life and, mm -hmm. and to, you know, have the opportunity to, to have memories of, of, of great times, you know. Yeah. Enjoy the outdoors mm -hmm. and, and um, just have great, you know, memories of, and, and good times and, and, you know, photograph opportunities. Uh, I think it's just, I mean, like I said, I wish it was here when I was younger. Yeah. It's just a nice place to go. I think it's really going to boost, you know, Owensboro here. Yeah. Like give, you know, the community here something to do. She also informed me of the origin of the name, which comes from a man named William Smothers, who in the late 1700s was the first pioneer to settle what is now Owensboro. So with all this going for Smothers, why shouldn't it be memorialized? It's been a boost in not only downtown business, but also community morale. With such a large impact in only two years, who knows where it'll take us? Smothers is a place for parents to bring their children to frolic and have fun. When they grow up and have kids of their own, they could do the same for them and also have nostalgic memories of this great place. Smothers Park is many things tied into one. The large trees in the playground are a tribute to the largest living sassafras tree in the world, which is right here in Owensboro. The name Smothers itself comes from the founder of Owensboro, and the park is also home to the Shelt Memorial, which gives thanks to the people of Owensboro who have served this great nation. So Smothers is not only a dedication to our modern community and our history, but it also is helping us grow for the future. Now that we have it, it would be a shame to see an Owensboro without Smothers, and that's why the park is Owensboro's home on the river.